Ooh. Hi everybody, welcome to the new taco challenge. So um, I really enjoyed last week the process, though again still having mixed feelings about the outcome, but uh, I guess that's fine. So I just wanna well, make a new one, right? Uh, let's have a new challenge. I really just enjoy the process. So, as I already said in the first video, I'm using a random word generator and uh, that will tell me what I'm going to paint and I'm going to let you in as much as I can into the thought process of planning painting before I actually uh, painted or draw something. So here we go. I got the word generator. It's Let's have a go. Okay, the word this week is brazen browed, shamelessly impudent. And now I got a, um, well, I got a, I got to um, go for my translator because I don't know a word. Leo.org, greatest ever. Let's go German English for the first one. That was impudent. It was in the description and I don't have a clue what that word means. So let's see. Oh, okay. <laughs> now I know what it means. And uh, let's go for the real definition, brazen brown. Let's see if there's some um, even more brazen. I should learn to type. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. So it means, um, I guess it's about the eyes. Brazen is the same as impudent and browed. I think it refers to the eyebrow. Let's see if there's another definition there that would help. Ba -da -da -da, browed. Yeah, it just goes with beetle browed, buffalo browed. No, it doesn't say anything. So I just assume it's going to be about eyebrows. And they're impudent, shameless, brazen. <laughs> just have the goofiest idea. How about <laughs> eyebrows have personality? Well, they they help with they help with uh let me flip the camera so that i can see if you see yes you see uh have the second one on top if you haven't seen the video last week already i'm shooting with multiple cameras and uh trying to align the feeds afterwards uh in in editing so going back to the eyebrows eyebrows pretty much are part of well, of course, your expression, they are part of your personality. You have very, um, very distinctive ones, with very, very prominent eyebrows, like, um, I don't know who, Lily Collins, maybe. She has quite prominent, very, um, very strong eyebrows. I don't mean the thickness, but just the way she works with her eye. Uh, section like eyes, uh, cheekbones and the eyebrows when she talks. Uh, she does uh, have prominent ones. What if they'd had a personality like on their own and they don't cooperate with the person having the eyebrows um, but more like having their own life, their own personality and counteracting to what the person actually wants to wants to have as facial movement. That would be something. 
or uh, they could just be like a fairy tale and be really strong and uh, diminish every other part of the facial facial features like like dwarving the eyes which are gorgeous and I don't know what but they are standing out in a whimsical way that would be something I guess I'd like that there's there's a lot of space to to draw something unique um almost fairy tale ish so what are the shameless parts about it then that they do what they do um that they don't try to stand back in in the facial fa facial features maybe so let's say i i think by the way um if, if i'd go for whimsical magical um uh, eyebrows I, I wouldn't go or if I if I'd go with goofy also I wouldn't go with acrylics and canvas I would go with paper and either uh, the artist brushes which is ink or copics or watercolors maybe or a combination of those That for for whatever reason I I feel I should go for the illustration style like in in books uh, fairy tale books or whatnot. So I think I'd I'd set the tone and the composing the planning of the painting or the the drawing right now. I'd set that for the specific media. So. Let's go with whimsical fairy tale ish eyebrows and see what they could do. Now, the question is am I going for a female or a male? And I think I'm going female just because they have a nicer shape, a bow. I could work with that more. Um, let me just male eyebrows are like that pretty much. So you have that one th this is very straight this is very straight and you just have this tiny bend here females are usually way more curvy and do not have this sharp edge or th at least when it go comes to mangas and illustrations in in fairy tale books or whatnot um they're more of a curvy curvy uh, eyebrows there so you could just um, go off into the distance a bit more have uh, you, you have more room to do something other than with that you would have with male so I'm going for female so if I'd go if I'd go with parts of the eye or only maybe the lashes um, like that is my paper I could have the eye down here only a tiny tiny part of the eye having the lashes and then having the eyebrow but then it would not be start to finish it would would just be a cropped part as well i could of course go for the size of the eyebrow and then adjust the eye to that and then i would uh maybe have each hair stand out like that and uh, have them maybe be very very uh, wavy and um, fairy tale ish and then have in each of them have something of 
a, a magical thing like for example this could be part of a fish so you have the scales and the eye and the fin and whatnot things like that i don't know if that would take away or if that if they'd actually make the brow stand out also if maybe it's not on all the hairs some of them are rather realistic looking and some of them are having like i don't know tiny hearts up here or flower and others are just pretty pretty normal just living their life not participating in the braised brow business and other hairs are just like rebel stubborn and uh, stand out that way that would be a thing as well hmm <laughs> This is really difficult, I have to say. And do I want to incorporate the the lashes and the... So I think I have to incorporate the eye and the part of the lashes. Otherwise, you can't really see that this is an eyebrow. But um, I think I'd go a bit more like that. And have the brow come a bit, a bit here. And start with these hairs already. And having the eye down here being very sketchy, very, very much only um, outlines, not much of a shadow probably because they, these uh, parts here shouldn't take away from all that's happening here. So I think I should go with Copics. Because I have a, I, I do have a lot of skin tones with Copics that I do not have with the artist uh, brushes, and I think the small details would be too small to go with watercolors. So I think I'd I'd go with Copics, and also I do have some very vibrant and uh, magical colors that you'd see a lot in maybe underwater. Um, fairy tale books or or Disney movies whatnot so a lot of uh, pinks and teal colors greenish bluish turquoise tones a lot of skin tones and I think with a few of the black lines that would actually look pretty at least I hope so so I guess I will figure out what to incorporate into each of the hairs here once I have them all laid down see the the width of them I will have some of the hearts and the glimmer dots and whatnot definitely but will I incorporate fishes or just lines I think I'll, I'll do that once I have the final layout of the brow and the hair and then go in with with um, darker parts down here, up, lighter up here. And I think I won't go with like natural colors, brown, blonde, black, whatever, but be really brilliant standing out. Uh, it's very fantasy-like and down here I will stay in the actual natural colors that people do have like very dark brown um, lashes uh, depending on what I do up here the color of the of the iris uh, being being there maybe maybe a greenish color or brown I think I won't go with blue since blue is quite much quite it's not really watery I don't want to go for really watery blue I don't like that particularly. I like green eyes and green gray eyes. So I think uh, I'd go with that color or maybe a brown. I don't want to go with blues. So that's that's the idea behind it, behind the braised brows, browed 
Brazen Brout, I don't know, that was the name of the game. So, I think I, I should try that. I think that, that would be a nice illustration-y go for it. So, I will be back once I have completed the, uh, the drawing and uh, you can watch along. All right, see you in a few.
the braze, brazen broad? Damn, I forgot what the name was. Let me see. We're brazen broad. That was the term, and it's done. Voila! It's there. You have it. Um, uh, if I compare it to the original, it's pretty much the same thing. Like from, and you can see. So here's the plant thing. Here's the colored thing, and I think it's pretty much the same. Uh, I really like the eye down here with the uh, lashes. Some of the parts here I don't like too much, others I adore, like the penguins and this little fella here. Not too keen on the butterfly, but um, the green with the white dots is rather, rather cute and, you know, the pie is adorable. So um, not too happy with the corn, but all in all, I think, I think it's a okay drawing. It's it's very, I don't want to say mythical, but kind of goofy, whimsical, fairy tale-ish. And um, it leaves a lot of room to interpret whatever you want to see in the eyebrow. It's definitely brazen. It's uh, impudent and I learned a new word. And uh, yeah, so I just leave it as is and uh, I enjoyed working on it. Uh, I love Copic markers so uh, it was fun to get them out and work with all the lovely colors that I own. So now I'm gonna go um, editing this video, enjoying my afternoon slash evening and uh, definitely having one more coffee. <laughs> I'm thirsty for coffee. So thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know in the comment section below. If you maybe have a word or something that you want me to paint or draw something on, throw it at me, comment section below. And uh, if you want to like and or share this video, I would very much appreciate that because it helps a lot. And if you haven't already, why not subscribe to the channel? I got lots of art videos, cooking videos, and board game videos for you every day of the week. Also, if you want to see the uh, painting and, and drawings that I do before there is a video, or if you want to see more of the stuff that I do that I don't have a video on, go to my Instagram. The link is in the description box below there. I post a lot of photos of work in progress and whatnot. And uh, if you are not relying on Facebook um, actually telling you when I posted something, there's also my Google Plus page that pretty much has everything on that Facebook has as well, but it will tell you every time that a new post is coming up. So thanks again for watching. Have a lovely day and I'm going to see you with a new painting tomorrow. Goodbye.